Okay, so let me show you what everything is based around as far as the Facebook side and the Kartra side. So sure. we, have, we have the landing page, which is this page right here. And then we have the thank you for registering page after they opt in. And then we have the appointment confirm page. So what I'm going to show you consists of these three pages. Okay. Okay. So what I was able to do over here is <coughs> in ads manager, we now have what Facebook calls custom audiences. So if we scroll down here, go to audiences, what we're now tracking is everyone who lands on those three pages. So for example, anyone who, when we, when we're running an ad, that video ad, um, anyone who clicks on that ad and ends up going to the page is a simple website visitor. Uh -huh. So they haven't opted in. They haven't scheduled an appointment. They simply landed on the page. So the moment you land on that page, you're tracked. Now, when you go to the page and you fill out the form, uh -huh. then you're considered, now you're on a lead. So now you're a lead. Now you're in you this, this one pixel. What's that? You've already got all that set up on pixel. Yeah, everything is pixeled. Everything is already set up. So the pixel is on, is on these three pages already. And these are leads who have not scheduled an appointment. And the reason why this is so important is because as we run multiple ads, we want to be able to exclude these audiences. Right. So if you're already a lead, you don't need to keep seeing my ad. Uh -huh. If you've already scheduled an appointment, you don't need to keep seeing my ad. Right. So these are website visitors, people who have not filled out the form. These leads are people who actually filled out the form. And then the, the, the top one, are people who landed on the appointment <coughs> confirmation page. Therefore, those are people who have scheduled an appointment. So as we run leads, we'll be running them to, to a cold market, to whatever country, whatever interest or, or targeting. And as we continue to run weekly ads, I'll always be retargeting the visitors because you have people that go to the page, but don't fill out the form. Those are, those are people we want to keep getting in front of. So that's, the, that's one thing. So three audiences, three custom audiences, we continue to retarget those who visit the website only. Um, and, then, and then as we run Facebook ad number two, we exclude these people, the leads. So as leads start to come in, I then start to exclude. That's why the audience is so important. If you don't create the audience, then you end up keep running ads to the same people who, and, and these are people who have already filled out the form. They're already leads. Right. So this way we're able to track it and we're able to, to segment these different people, two different types of people. So th those are three different audiences. So that that's number one. And then number two is the custom <coughs> conversions. So as we come in here and run ads, what we're going to be running is conversion ads. Right. Not engagement or not traffic. We're going for conversions. Conversions is as you come over here to go set up an ad. Let me show you the setup. Mm -hmm. So as we come in here to the ads manager and we click on the green button, this is where everyone gets it wrong. Everyone gets it wrong. It don't matter about the video. It doesn't matter. It don't matter about, about your image, whatever you wrote, the ad. None of that matters if you do not set these things up first the custom audience the custom conversion which i'll show you yours and then also this first step right here this is where majority of people get it wrong so they'll run an ad and wonder why they didn't capture any leads because they didn't run the right one this is where it can get confusing as you come in you click the green button and you come to set up the ad there's three levels campaign ad set and ad campaign is the most important the objective what is our objective our objective is to capture leads but what most people do is if it's a video like you have they'll come over here and they'll run video views because that's the most obvious and logical one to click on if it's a video why not get a video views why not get a ton of people to view it sure. that makes sense and that's exactly what you're going to get you're going to get a ton of people to view it but that's not, that's not what we want. We want people to fill out the damn form. So 
right? You would think it's engagement. But again, the reason why I spend time on this is because it's where everybody gets it wrong. Yeah, most people would have probably chose engagement. Engagement is what you see on Facebook when you see a post and you see a post. In fact, let me just show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. When you scroll through Facebook, I'll show you an engagement ad right now. Right. As we scroll through Facebook and we're just scrolling through our news feed, whether we're on a computer, whether we're on a cell phone, it doesn't matter. As we scroll through and we look at the middle section and we're just seeing what our friends are up to, and then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored post. That is a Facebook ad. Right. Now, in this case, this person, Jeru or Giru or however the hell you pronounce that, mm -hmm. This person most likely is running a conversions ad. If I click on learn more, he's taking me to his landing page. This is his landing page and it's not even a landing page. It's a full blown website. So this is problem number one. Problem number one is he's sending me to a full blown website. And so as I scroll through and just read everything, um, there's just so much information and there's nowhere to even click to to so he sent me all the way down to the very bottom to buy to buy to buy now <laughs> see so that's a ton of information i've never seen this ad and that's why the custom audiences are so important see so here's what's going to happen this guy i've never seen his ad before he's going straight for the close He's not sending me to an opt-in page. He's sending me straight to the sales page. Gotcha. 67 or 164. Choose, choose, choose your poison. Here's the one going to happen. But see, what's going to happen, though, if he's smart, which I'll assume he's a smart marketer, if he is smart, which I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, let's say he is smart, what he's doing, the benefit of this is the fact that he sent me here, and up here, he is tracking me with his Facebook pixel. So, so again, as I mentioned to you, you're going to have people that come to the landing page. Majority of them are going to leave. A certain percentage will fill out the form. But the majority who left, those are now his custom audience. So now he's able to put all those people in an audience, everyone who lands here. They're now all in, all in an audience, his custom audience, which your custom audience is, is, is web page visitors. That's your custom audience. This guy, he's creating a custom audience of everyone who lands here as well. So if he is a smart Facebook advertiser, I should see another ad from him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because all he's doing is retargeting the people who landed here. Gotcha. And if he's really smart, he'll show me a third ad. He'll show me a fourth ad. He'll show me a fifth ad because I landed here. Mm -hmm. So he'll keep retargeting me until I buy or until I just come or until he completely exhausts me. And I just, I just don't, don't click on anything anymore. Mm -hmm. But the benefit is the fact that he's creating a custom audience. He has his Facebook pixel tracking and he'll continue to show me ads. So, so, but that's not an engagement that right there is a conversion. Learn more straight to a page get that person to opt in or get that person to buy. That's a conversion ad. An actual engagement ad is, let's see if I can find an engagement ad. Okay, perfect example. This is an engagement ad. So again, with your objective being to capture leads, that's the objective. But if you went with engagement, all you would have had was a ton of engagement meaning people would have liked it, people would have commented, and people would have shared it. Gotcha. And that's cool, but that's not getting me a lead. So, but, but if, if you want people to share, that, that's cool. I mean, if we have the budget, we can do that too. But 100% of our budget needs to go to capture a lead. Sure. Not engagement, not video views, not traffic, not brand awareness, not reach, none of this other stuff. Lead generation is for when you don't have a landing page. Mm -hmm. So lead generation is going for leads, but you're using Facebook's landing page. We want to go strictly conversion. We go strictly conversions. So to go strictly conversions, you have to set up a custom conversion. 
Facebook wants to know, okay, after they go to your, your landing page, where do they go next? Sure. That's a custom conversion. So what I was able to do up here, if you see this, this, this link up here, remember this link, this is what I was able to do over here is I was able to set up a custom conversion. So now we're telling Facebook our ultimate goal is to get to that page. Is to get, to that page. get people to this page. That's what we're running an ad for Facebook. So that's what we tell Facebook. And so, um, so let me go to the actual conversions. They just completely redesigned your entire, entire, um, your phone going on. I don't know if that's, is that my phone? I hear something on me. <laughs> So this switch to previous version. Let me go to previous version because this version is a little different. Yeah, okay. That's the updated version of Facebook, which I, I haven't navigated through, but this is, this is the old version. So let me show you this version here. Okay, so here is your custom conversion. It's this link right here. So it's anyone who actually became a lead. So if I click on this, there is your link right here. Yeah. So right here, that is the thank you page. So as they fill out the landing page, they fill out the form, they submit, they go to the thank you page. That's the link right there. So we have a custom conversion for the thank you page. And then we also have a custom conversion for anyone who schedules an appointment. Cool. Marlon, give me one second. No problem. Take care. Okay, sorry about that, Marlon. Okay, so a custom conversion for the appointment scheduled, which is this, this one down here. So as people go to this page right here, I'll be running ads. That's why, that's why it's a weekly thing. It's a multiple ad thing. Because what I'm also telling Facebook is I'm saying, hey, I'm looking for people to get to this page, but I'm also looking for people that are likely to get to this page yeah and so and the only way they get to this page is if they schedule an appointment I got you. so i need people to get to this page and i need people to get to this page that is a custom conversion let me ask you a quick question david uh, our audience uh you know we're gonna have facebook go after you know you're used to doing that in the united states but what's your take on trying to go uh Global. That's perfect. As long as we're as long as we're going after English speaking, I, first of all, I'm I'm just a true believer in starting small, sure, and and, and and scaling up. So if if we if we can just I mean shit if we could just go after our country first, that's where you want to be. Sure. But but as we scale globally, going after countries that 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 are English speaking first is uh -huh. is, is ideal. I mean. You don't but want to just I can get together later on once we're see it uh, to where we do need to go forward that direction. We can implement uh, languages and all that. G give me one second, brother. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs>
Sorry about that, Marlon. No problem at all, man. It's all good. Okay, so what I was meaning was if we go to sell a funnel in a different country, we can accommodate them with the right uh, verbiage in their language on that funnel, right? Oh yeah, but that's like you're talking like miles down the line. Yeah, like no you're problem. talking miles. Like you're talking literally three hundred miles down the line. I got you. So in between one to two ninety nine. And I could do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could totally do it. But there's so much to be made. We want to. We want to knock a home run in the U.S. first. Yeah. But then also, but again, even even taking a leap across the pond, but just choosing an actual country that speaks English, that's where you would start. So rather than having to redesign everything to fit Japanese, like forget that. Like let's go after Europe first. Like go after you know, whatever other country you guys are in that speaks English. Sure. Yeah, start there first. But but we're even just the U.S. Button. We're going to actually put a button on the funnel of what uh, countries we can, you know, accommodate someone in. Like, first one would be the United States, second one might be Europe or whatever. You know, whoever, whoever speaks yeah. English, we'll put them in there first. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. But there's just there's just there's just way too many people in this country to even even care about another country right now. Millions of them, and you know it's kind of funny about ASEA in general, David, because there's a there, there's a lot of people uh, globally, mm -hmm. and, and so far ASEA's you know the the percentage of what ASEA's you know set up with at the moment is a small percentage there's thousands and millions of people out there that's never even heard of a sin oh of course there's there yeah there, there's literally i mean just in this country alone there's literally hundreds of millions sure like i'm willing to that there's 300 million people in this country i'm willing to bet 100 million never heard of a sia right, right. so that's where you, where, where you definitely want to start. I'm just curious about that is all it was. I knew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We uh, could target any country, any language. And, and, and at the same time, it's not like we have an, a huge, you know, extensive funnel. It's just literally a couple pages. Right. So I can easily send that. You can easily send that page over to anyone on Fiverr and have them rewrite it in their language. Oh, wow. Great. Simple. Well, he, yeah. We're knocking a home run in the U.S. first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's just way too many people here. To and, and here's the thing about network marketing that I love is the fact that I'm a true believer of starting small and literally even starting in your backyard. Sure. Like if you went out there and recruited 50 people that all live in Arkansas, uh, those 50 people would take you across the country. Sure. Sure. You go out there and recruit 50 people across the country – a few of those people will take you around the world. What's going to be our target audience when we first start? Health and wellness. People that have an interest in health and wellness. But just in uh, the entire United States? Or just the, entire, the, United the entire United States. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah, we'll go after the entire United States. I'd go after, a, I'd go after a, maybe, maybe even a, a, a higher age group. I'd go after maybe 40 plus. Sure. 40, 40, 40 to 65 plus yeah. um, in the U.S. Uh, the What's immune that? system situation with COVID-19, I think uh, people are going to be uh, paying attention to, you know, uh, having a better health, you know. Oh, yeah. Immune system. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. This is a great time. So now it just comes down to, let's see, let's go to the actual page. Mm -hmm. Um. There's these videos over here, and I tried looking for more on YouTube, but they didn't. A majority of them were about the company or the opportunity, and these ones that I that I was able to pull about the video, product. I mean about the product, uh, are pretty much kind of the only ones when it comes to the Redbox. Six or seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven. Yeah. Well, just seven and then start them all over again. Perfect. Perfect. Just let me know when. I mean, 
all I need to do is just, is just update, update those emails and that's it. That's the last part, which, which that could be. As soon as you update the emails and work on that video, well, I'm ready to pull the trigger on it. Uh, Perfect. Can you go back to uh, Facebook for a minute? I mean, I, I'm, uh, uh, I didn't check my credit card. I never did set up one on there yet. Gotcha. Okay, let's double check that. For uh, Celine Portable Buildings, but I don't think I did on uh, ASEA. I wanted to make sure on that too. 3808? Yep, that's it. Okay. Yep. So, so the billing date is every 30th. So that, that's good. Okay. Um, and then let me, this, this right here. Okay. That way our ads don't stop in, in between. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So we're good. So I could, I'll, I'll update those emails today and then, and then let's, let's pull the trigger. What's today? Today's, today's Tuesday. Let's well, go live. Let's go live with an ad tomorrow. Sounds good. Sounds good. Don't we yeah. need the video and the email? Well, the emails, I can have that done tonight, but the video on the actual funnel, that, that's the only thing that's missing. And then your testimonial email, if, if, I mean the testimony video. Do you want what, me to edit that video first? Was there a video that you had uh, set up in the email explaining to them what to do and how to do it? That's for the funnel. That's when they purchase the funnel. Oh, the funnel. I got you. Yeah. But the video, your testimonial video that's, that's on the thank you page, that's what we got to edit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this right. is what we got to edit. So, okay, so then I'm going to have to put, put that in. So, we'll, we'll, today's Tuesday. Oh, we'll go live Thursday. And that video there, we should be ready, shouldn't we? Oh, yeah, that's it. There's nothing else, there's nothing else to it. I'm ready to push the trigger, man. Okay. <laughs> I'll message you tomorrow, and let's tomorrow's Wednesday. Let's plan on going live Thursday. Let's set up a call for Thursday. Yeah. I'll message you tomorrow once this editing is done. Yeah, I'll go in there and take a peek. And uh, you might set me up an appointment to where you can show me through the uh, email text on there. And let perfect. me look that over and then we'll be ready to go. Perfect, perfect. Let's, um, let's chat tomorrow. Tomorrow's when? Let's chat Thursday. What time is good Thursday? Same time? Yep. And then we can, uh, I guess, pull the trigger Friday. Are you Eastern? I'm Central. Central, Central. No, yeah, we, perfect. We I we thought can... we were going to do a, a something on the, um, the a like in my page. Yeah, the likes. That, yeah, that ad, it's slowly going up, but it, it's, slow, it's a slow, so I'm going to run that for 30 days. That's a slower, more slower ad. I haven't said it one time. What's that? I haven't said it one time. Yeah, you won't see it on your end. It's on. It's on my end. Okay, I got you. you. Won't, it's not targeting you, so you won't see. Actually, that, I sent you. The, I sent you the actual setup of it. Didn't you get it? Yeah, I got yeah. it. Uh, but you uh, won't see it because you're not. You're not. You're not being targeted. Yeah, I thought I was going to see it though. It's no big deal. I saw what you sent me. Okay, so how about Thursday at at the same time? What's that? I haven't seen any likes on that page. Have you seen any? Yeah, it went up. It went up a little bit. It's gone up a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Let's go back to it. Let's see here. Oh, now I'll look and see if I can find any other videos and upload them. Perfect. If you can, that'd be, yeah, that'd be great. Bad product, not opportunity. Oh, you know what? What's wrong with running those seven and then seven opportunities and then back to the seven product? That's, I mean, we can easily do that. We just need to set up another page for the opportunity. Okay. I can easily do that. So we'll just need an opportunity page. Which we, which I can easily do. Okay. You want to run them all at the same time, or you want to do this one first? It's totally up to you. Uh, let's see here. I'll start working on an opportunity page. 
Okay, yeah, because once we do these seven, we can switch to seven different opportunity videos mm -hmm. and then back to the seven back and forth on those 14 different ones. Perfect. Perfect. I'll upload some opportunity videos over here today then. Okay. How do you, how would you keep them separate? I guess well, you could. You can't really, but at, oh. I mean, it, everything is in the title. I mean, we could title them, you know, opportunity versus re redox or wellness. Oh. It really doesn't matter. We just get, I think if we, you set up an opportunity page and connect it correctly once you run the ad, then it doesn't matter if we're running a, mm -hmm. a product video or an opportunity video. Mm -hmm. Still the same thing. We're wanting the end results to be the same. Yeah. Sign up as an, you know, as a, an affiliate or sign up and buy some product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And sure. a lot of, a lot of the communication is, is also on the back end. That's why that email is so important. Capturing the lead is the most important. So I can email that lead anything I want after that. Sure. So if I can capture that lead, email you different emails regarding the opportunity, uh, that could be big as well. Cause now we're no longer spending on Facebook ads. We caught the lead. Now we email yeah. whatever the hell we want. Show me now, David, what you mean by an opportunity page compares to a product page in culture. However you want to, I mean, a page is a page. It all comes down to what you want to write on it. Yeah, that so, one there. Let's see. So this is all on the product. We just do the same damn thing talking about the opportunity. I got you. So got you. It's, it's all about the text. You know, this. This could all be talking about the opportunity right here rather than the product. Uh -huh. So going off of your, going off of your ASEA page is where I can get all the, all the, all the different examples and ideas from. Sure. Or even just duplicating a page like this, uh -huh. you know, maybe, maybe get some information from over here. Uh -huh. This could be, this could be a simple landing page right here. Uh -huh. Click here for more information. Sure. You know, this could be, this, it's as simple as that. Well, I got you. You know, the more you put on a page, the, the, the worse. Wow. That's why this right here, to tell you the truth, this is actually not bad at all because it's just this. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all about that ad. If we can drive right traffic to this page, capture the lead, that lead is, 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 is what you're paying for. Like that lead is what you want. Put together something like that for an opportunity page and mm -hmm. connect it to an opportunity video as we run the ad. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, the video, the video is the ad. And then over here on the landing page, this could just be an image uh -huh. with a button below that says click here for more information or click here for more details. Sure. You know, so that 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 and and again that's why the custom audiences are so important because i don't want to run an ad to the same group showing them a product and then all of a sudden tomorrow showing them the opportunity it's sure. just you would think it's a good idea but I, I don't think it's a good idea don't you know don't don't pitch me on 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 female shoes and then all of a sudden pitch me on men's jeans <laughs> well you know okay. it's like two different things like yeah especially targeting the same audience well I think the way we're going at it, you know, as far as the product goes, that's the most important thing because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what fixes people, you know, that's what helps yeah. them. Uh, as far as the business opportunity of it goes, uh, if they're that type of person that wants to, you know, go forward on something like that, well, mm -hmm. we just simply can accommodate them whenever they're ready. That's so, why that, once you, yep. Ready. That, that that's what I truly believe about network marketing is that the best of the best recruiters, the best of the best team builders uh -huh. fall in love with the product first. Sure. You know, I've, I've, I've read so many stories about that. Just sure. I've known so many people that were just obsessed with the product first and it led them to building a business, mm -hmm. you know? So in this case, capturing a lead of a person who's interested in the product and then on the back end via email meant <coughs> opportunity that's your best bet. Well, 
Well, you know, let's work on the uh, editing that video fine a little bit and uh, set up those uh, emails. Emails and, and let me go through those just a moment. We'll pull the trigger on that thing. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I, I just emailed you for Thursday. So let's chat Thursday and by then we'll have everything set and ready to go Thursday for Friday. Saturday. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, boss. I'll talk to you then. I'll get to work. Take care, man. Yes, sir. You too. Bye-bye.